Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Wright State Raiders and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Crimson Tide should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First of all, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Second, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. And lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. For two. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Trying to go inside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. Number 21 receives the pass. Double team now, that angle. In and out. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Number 50 makes the shot for the bucket. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Looks at the three. He hits it. And you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Looking for a good shot. From the top of the circle, number 21 from downtown. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And the ball goes out of play. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Dumps it in for two. And off the mark. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Number 12 receives the ball. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Oh, and the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. And the ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He shoots from long range. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Number 44 handles the feed. He strips him clean. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense.
offense moves so slowly. Number 50 handles the pass as the chance persists. I love it, Brad. Only in college basketball, baby. Only in college basketball. Now they work it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb off the rim and no good. Here's a double team. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. The pass is ripped away. He broke out just in time. Gave it up. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. They look to get it to the inside. Pump fakes. Fakes the shot. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard, Dan. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. They had a shot block on the dribble. Gives it up. Trying to get that ball movement. Get that good spacing. Tempo of the game. Really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Perfectly executed. In the paint. Got to take some paint. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Puts it up, looking for contact. Makes the shot. the other way get a layup for the bucket he hits the shot look at that spacing he launches a three he made good use of the screen but the shot fell off trying to feed inside they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works Gave it up. He uses the shot fake. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Way off target. On the outside. Entry pass in the paint. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. High post player flashing. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. It's the second. Pressure, great double team, really explosive. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. The Raiders go to the line for the first time in this game. He gets it to go.
Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Tries a three. Off the rim and no good. There's the trap. The ball goes out of bounds. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Momentary look from three-point land for two. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. On the outside, got an open look if he wants it. From the top of the key, makes it. the dribble gives it up problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting there's a double team waiting there he lets it go drains it He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Thinks about the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Number 35 with the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Number 21 is feeling great out there right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Looking for a good shot. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Wright State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. The frustration right there. Goes up for two. He nails the bucket. Tries for two. They still don't score. He drains the bucket. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. There's a bad pass right to the defender. And he scores it off the glass. Gave it up from three-point range. Buried it. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Time to pick up the defense here now. Now they work it around the perimeter. With a rejection. Gave it up. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. He can't get the bucket to fall. Fakes a jumper. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. 
They work the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He fires away. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice low post play, good entry to the box. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 11 steps to the line for the first time. First shot, no good. Makes the second shot. For two in and out. They're working around the perimeter. Gave it up on the inside. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. it fly way off target excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards out there yeah that helps draw the charge and even he has to smile about this one i tell you you're kidding me that's one of the great acting jobs of all time get him an oscar in the paint kicks it out goes for the deep one gets it to go that's a seven zip run on the outside Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Off the rim and no good. The skip pass is picked off. Puts up the tray. He buries it. Two, perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Way off target. Goes up for two. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when the guy is open. It's a special art. Feet in the post. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. A lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. He gets the shot to fall. it up fires away off the rim good they'll work
work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. For the bucket, Wright State are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Now they work it around the perimeter. Got the high pick. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not down with ease, Brad. For two. And off the mark. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. He throws it up from downtown, way off target. Look at that spacing. He puts it up, drains the shot. Goes up for two. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Check him out, Brad. Suck her out of the game, man. <laughs> he puts up the tray. He shows the sweet touch. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. He tries the three ball. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Shot clock is dead. On the outside. There's a high screen. Three. Off the rim and no good. With a half-court shot. He misses the trifecta. At the half, the Raiders lead by three. Dick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. The three balls are coming, Brad. My highlight has to be this three-pointer. I expect more of that in the second half. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Alabama is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Up and inside. Tries for two. Knocks it down. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens.
There's the fake. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. He pulls a trigger. He makes the shot. Great defense. He shoots from right of the circle. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. For the deuce, they still don't score. Gave it up. The power forward takes the feed. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. perimeter for the bucket. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. Steals the pass. Ferocious defense tonight, Dick. Hey, are you kidding me? They're making me nervous. Down in the low. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The point guard takes the pass. Here's a double team. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. The Raiders have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Pushing that basketball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The center gets the ball. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Kick it back outside. On three point territory. He gets the bucket to fall. The center gets the pass for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Dribble gives it up. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. For two. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. Hey, that guy had 1,400 on his boards. And look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> steal. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The defender's doing a great job of playing ball pressure. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Working around the perimeter. Dump it inside. Goes up for two. And he missed.
inside. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. That's an eight zip run. On the outside, the power forward with the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Got a wide open look. There he is, strips the ball loose. It's a fast break possibility. Finger roll. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He wants a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. Tries to get the D to bite. Tries for two. Alabama are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Look at that spacing. Looking for a good shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Moving it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Wide open for the shot. He shoots from outside. Rims out. And a momentary look from three-point land. Working it around the perimeter. Puts up the shot. Way off target. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I'll tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Picked off. Working around the arc. He puts up the three ball. He gets it to go. That's a 7-0 run. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He drains the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Entry pass in the paint. They move it into the front court. Strips the ball. Leans in. Alabama have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Down in the low block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. All right, thanks, Aaron. For the bucket. Doesn't go. He posterized him. The Crimson Tide lead by nine.
Not checking that. Who would have thought? Well, the cheerleaders. Come on. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders. That's awesome, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Have to make the free throw. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. You get off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. From the top of the circle, he misses from downtown. Number 34, it's lowly performance. has just gotten in his head. Emotionally, he needs some inspiration. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Up fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Intercepted. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Questionable shot selection there. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside cheapers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Gave it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From the top of the key, sinks the shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Nice shot fake. Shoots from outside. Way off target. Easy one. The players are doing a bad job, Dick, with a double team. Hey, yeah, looks like they don't know what's going on. There's the trap. The ball goes out of bounds. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Number 44 is called for the foul. First personal foul. Here's a flash from the post up high. Defense giving some room. Push 
should have basketball help one another communicate. Ten seconds to get it off. Number 15 is whistled for the foul. Got a man in high post. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. Alabama have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Double team now, bad angle. He lets it go. That's good. Number 50 is charged with the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The post flashes up high if he wants it. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. And the ball goes out of play. He's working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. And he'll kick it back outside. Trump fakes. Nice high post screen. He buries the shot. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times. Looking for a good shot. Looking for a good shot. He's open if he wants the shot. He shoots. Rims out. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Up and inside. He attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. Working around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets the bucket to fall. Watch this again. Now they work it around the perimeter. And now they'll bring it up. He strokes it. Rims out. Momentary look from three-point land. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. They still don't score. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Second one is no good. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. It's stolen. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Step out on that screener. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They work it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Gave it up. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Mm -hmm. 
Here's a double team. Taken away. They're allowing no fast break baskets. Stolen ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from downtown. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. So time out on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Aaron's right about that. The player's got a much-needed breather with that timeout. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Takes away the pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Start again. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He hits a bullseye again. Man, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Shot clock is dead. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. that one three points is the difference that's right so somebody better guard the york they're gonna move it around the perimeter he looks for the bomb they have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss i think the shots seem to be dropping for him right now i'll tell you one thing they're dropping and you better have good productivity out of your front court when you have that balance inside outside you got a great chance to win and you have to have post players that are going to make big play misses the second shot they need to score here to turn this to a one possession game Let's 
see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. He looks for three. Drains the shot. And the clock stopped for the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Makes the front end of the one and one. Gets his second. Timeout's called on the floor. This is where the true players come to play. It's crunch time, baby. Just about ready for play to resume. From way downtown, rims out. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams play pretty well, and you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Bartender won this game round when we look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Alabama is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.